Truck tractors were not invented by the Americans, but this technique turned out to be in demand most of all in the USA. It was the Americans who began to massively use truck tractors and semi-trailers for inter-regional transportation. The rapid growth of retail chains in the 20s and 30s made in demand the transportation of what is called from one warehouse to another without transshipment. For such transportation, they used road transport. The railway could not provide this, you couldn't bring rails to every supermarket grew like mushrooms after rain. In any small city, more than one opened. The flow of goods grew in huge quantities. Carrier companies needed a huge fleet of trucks for transportation, a huge staff of drivers, which was not profitable. They tried to solve the problem by increasing the carrying capacity and length of the trucks. The next step was the use of truck tractors with semi-trailers for transportation. The use of such equipment is much more profitable than conventional trucks. This allows you to increase the tonnage of goods transported by one vehicle and one driver. In addition, a truck tractor can carry different semi-trailers. And this greatly reduces the fleet of carrier companies and consequently costs. By the beginning of the 40s, the United States had the largest fleet of tractors, mostly equipped with diesel engines. Growth was slightly halted by the war, but after the war, the share of tractors in trucking grew by leaps and bounds. This was helped in no small part by the demobilization of tens of thousands of highly trained drivers from the U.S. Army. Driving a tractor with a semi-trailer requires much more skills than a conventional truck. The work of a tractor driver at that time was a drag. Long hauls, irregular working hours, low wages. All laws protecting the rights of drivers will appear later. The U.S. trucking market in the 30s and 50s was very different from the current one. At that time, large companies dominated the market, there were few private traders owning one tractor. Now, about 50 to 50. Yes, and the preference for truck brands looked different. Yes, and the truck manufacturer themselves in the U.S. market was many times larger. Kenworth, Freightliner and Peterbilt, so famous now, were not so famous at that time. But Autocar, Rio and White were one of the leaders' market. 